Good evening and welcome to Juan Diego High School. We have a varsity match upcoming between the Soaring Eagle of Juan Diego and the Bears of Summit Academy. The JV match just wrapped up. The JV boys came out on top by a score of 57 to 49. So one victory down, one to go for the Soaring Eagle. All right, let's get to it. We have a lot to get through here on the pregame, but let's start with the scouting report. So Summit Academy, where are they? Well, they are the closest region opponent to Juan Diego, being over uh, just over in Bluffdale, Utah, about a 15 minute drive, six miles on the odometer. So just down the road, their mascot is the Bears. <clears throat> they are in, uh, as I mentioned, a region opponent in class 3A. They come in to the contest tonight with a 10 and six overall record. They played on the 19th, which was just a couple of days ago, and beat American Leadership Academy at home by a score of 54 to 47. Their rankings are the fo as follows. They are 79th in the state. By comparison, Juan Diego comes in at 39 in the state of Utah. Davis is holding on to that number one seed I believe Davis is 15 and 0 in Class 6A. So <laughs> Davis looking really tough this year. The Bears are ranked 10th in Class 3A. Juan Diego is currently sitting at number four in that ranking. Couple of scores to look forward to. Number 42, Tyson Christensen, a senior, 5'11 guard, 12 points and about a rebound a game. Number 21, Bryson Otley, a junior, 6'1, averaging about nine points per game. Now the roster I picked up at the entry does not have Tyson Christensen on it. I don't know if they know something that I don't. I'm thinking that was an omission, but I'm hoping to see Tyson out there. If not, uh, I guess I, I guess we won't. I guess we'll put it that way. Uh, one more thing about the Bears, let's call out their seniors. This will be their last uh, year playing basketball for Summit Academy. So we have number 22, Kaysen Brown, number 32, Max and Denning, number 35, Caleb Knight, Number 41, Chance Arbon. Number 42, Tyson Christensen. Number 44, Christian Kindler. And number 55, Tyler Jensen. Congratulations for being a senior, making it through. Just a few more months and you'll be graduated and off to your future endeavors. So a shout out to you guys. All right, recognizing our own Soaring Eagle seniors, we have six on the team. We have Drew Wyatt, Nick Ceballos, Nick Kimball, Evan Wigton, Va, and Cole Jackson. So those are our six seniors, and congratulations to our boys as well. Let's look at the schedule. So you can look uh, and see we are filling that out pretty quickly. Only a handful of games remain after today. We are in this in the uh, right smack dab in the middle of a three-game homestand. We had American leadership in the house last week. We have Summit Academy in the house tonight and Judge on Monday. We then go to Providence Hall and away to Judge. We have a non-region game mixed in there with Bountiful and RSL Academy. Um, but yeah, looking at the schedule, the 11th of February is the last home game. That'll be senior night for the Soaring Eagle. So from there, we will head into playoffs. And I have some information about playoffs upcoming. So that's where we're at. By the way, the Sky Ridge game that was supposed to be rescheduled has not been rescheduled this far. And at this point, I don't think it will be. But we'll keep an eye on that and update the schedule accordingly. Let's look at the standings. We have region records now uh, are the focus. Uh, the overall record is important and really comes into the RPI. but. We're now in region play and a region title is on the line. So we're going to sort the uh, standings by the region win-loss record moving uh, on out from here. So that shows Judge, believe it or not, at the top of the board. Juan Diego right there with them tied at 1-0. Summit Academy in third. American Leadership of Providence Hall tied for fourth. So that's how the region shapes out and the standings thus far. The RPI has been updated. Juan Diego moves up three spots to number six, as does Union to number seven. The big drop was Summit, uh, South Summit, excuse me, this week. They dropped four spots down to number 10. 
Grantsville remains number one, as does North San Pete at number two. Leighton Christian does move up two spots to take the number three spot. So there's your RPI. The highlighted schools are the region opponents. And RPI leads into the seeding for playoffs. And let's talk about that because we have some information about playoffs that has been published by the UHSAA. That information is showing the quarters, semis, and finals will occur at Weber State University up in Ogden. The first round of the playoffs will be February 16th. Those will be home site games. If you are in the top 11 of the RPI, you will have a first round bye. So that is important, so you're not playing an extra game throughout the playoffs. The second round of the playoffs is on February 19th. Now that's a Saturday, which is a little odd, and it's also odd that they haven't specified whether or not that will be a home site game or a, a game at a neutral site. Now, if you're in the top eight in the RPI when it's all said and done, you will be the home team in the second round. And traditionally that has meant you will have a home game at your home site. But that is not specified currently in the bracket, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But we get past the second round and the quarters start on February 24th. The semis are February 25th and the finals are February 26th up at Weber State. So that's what's happening with the playoffs and the RPI. Okay, a couple of other notes tonight. Coach Trost is approaching a career milestone. That career milestone will be win number 300 should the Soaring Eagle come out victorious tonight. That is win number 300. So congratulations, Coach Trost, on 299 victories throughout your coaching career, and we hope to make it 300 after tonight. In other news, uh, in, in additional in other news, the UHSAA announced yesterday that they will be implementing a shot clock for high school basketball, both boys and girls. That will start next year. It will be mandatory at the varsity level. It sounds like it's optional at the sub-varsity level, so uh, more to come on that. That will be a 35 second shot clock. Contrast that with the shot clock in college, which is 30 seconds, and in the NBA is 24 seconds. So a shot clock coming to high school, Utah high school basketball starting next year. So that should be exciting. Okay, so back to the floor. We are under two minutes before the tip, excuse me, before the national anthem. We have Juan Diego on the far side from me, Summit is on the near side, if we can call it that, uh, sit basically at midcourt. The referees are in the house. We'll cut to that angle here. They have taken the floor and are headed over to introduce themselves to the coaches for Summit Academy. The contest tonight, uh, I mentioned it is a region contest, so a little bit of uh, region pride on the line and uh, looking forward to this one. It looks like we have a full squad for the Soaring Eagle. So we've had some uh, kids out with sickness and injury and uh, we've got pretty much everyone back. So looking forward to calling out their numbers. As we now tick under a minute before we get to National Anthem. So. I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up here properly for what's upcoming, and I'll check back in here in about 30 seconds. Thanks for joining, everybody.
All right, welcome for tonight's matchup against the Summer High Academy High School, the Fighting Bears and Go Juan Diego, Catholic High, Soaring Eagle. All right, in your starting lineups for the Summer High Academy High Bears. Number 32, senior Maxim Denning. And number 35, senior K. Knight. And number 40, junior Devin Watson. And number 55, senior Taco Jensen. And number 42, senior Tyson Christensen. I was on mute that whole time. <laughs> you didn't catch my starting lineup, but uh, we're ready to go here. So I'll call those out here at the break. Juan Diego with the ball. That'll put possession Summit Academy on the next jump ball or quarter transition. So things are underway. Down low to Jack. It's knocked away, and it's going to be out of bounds down there. Hit the wrong button here on my overlay. So one eagle ball on the baseline, 7.32 left in the first. As Zhu will inbound to Malik. Out to Colby. Colby looks in the corner, not there. Tries to get it down to Malik, but it's going to be called a foul as Malik hits the deck down there. And that'll be the first team foul on Summit with 7.26 remaining. And Juan Diego will have the ball again on the baseline. So Colby looking, Colby gets it out to Zhu. Zhu looks low, it's off. Summit, Juan Diego fortunate to get that one back. So Juan Diego looking to get that ball down in the low post one way or the other. And we'll have their baseline play. And up and in is Malik Harris, and we're gonna watch that one. At halftime, so the Juan Diego Soaring Eagle get on the board early with the first two of the game as Soaring Eagle go into their defense. And there's a corner shot by the Summit Academy Bears, and it's down for three. So Summit comes right back. And if this is any indication of how this game is going to go, we're going to have a crazy one here tonight. 
Cross court, down low, across the baseline is Jack, but he can't get it, and they're going to call a foul on Mal uh, Malik for over the back down there. Boy, that is a tough one so early in the game, but that'll be the first one on Juan Diego. 6.52 left as Summit has the ball. Juan Diego's going to pick him up at half court. So the Soaring Eagle pressing, and Soaring Eagle with the turnover. They don't have numbers. Zeus going to take it out to the far side. Look at something from the corner, drive inside, kick it across court, but it's a bad pass and stolen by Summit. Summit's now driving, and a three-pointer on the way is good by the Bears. So back-to-back -back three-pointers put the Soaring Eagle down four, and Juan Diego's got to do a better job with the ball, or they're going to get blown right out of the gym here. Juan Diego resets. Malik Harris with the ball at the top of the key. Looking over to Jack now. Jack looks down low to Malik. And Malik is being defended well. Colby has it. And knocks it down from the, call that the mid post area. So a nice work around to get an open shot by the Soaring Eagle. As Summit works around, a three-pointer again on the way and misses this time. Rebound Colby Bryant on the far side over to Zoo. Zoo pressing Summit back on defense, no problem. Zoo down the middle, close one up, can't quite get it to go. Gets his own rebound and down there, tries to get it to go and they're going to call a foul on Summit. I think that's going to be on the floor. So 5.31 remaining and the second team foul on Summit Academy. Colby Bryant will inbound. On the baseline, Colby looking, Colby, if that touched Malik, it'll be backcourt, and it did not. So, Juan Diego fortunate to pick that up in the backcourt and not have a violation called against him. As Zoo now has the ball, and nearly stolen is the ball, but Malik has it down to Malik. Malik up and try to force it in, and it's blocked. And a foul is going to be called on Colby Bryant, so Summit Academy bringing the pressure and bringing the fans. I mentioned they're only a hop, skip, and a jump away from the Soaring Eagle, so a local region rival has formed in the first three minutes of this game as Summit, the aggressor, and they're really moving that ball. Three-pointer on the way again by Summit, and again it's down, so three three-pointers equals nine points for the Bears, and they lead by five. I think taking the Soaring Eagle a little bit by surprise. So Juan Diego needs to find some composure here and get back to the game. And it's thrown away. Turn over Juan Diego, Summit with the ball. Let's see if they've got any game besides the three point. Sure they do if they have it open. But so far, I believe they're three for four from the three-point line thus far. They get it over to the far corner. Now they get it down low, and it's blocked by Zoo. And not taking possession of by the Soaring Eagles, so Summit gets the ball back. And that was a nice help down there. I think it was Zoo on the block. It could have been uh, someone else, but a block down there. But here we go again, and Malik can't afford another foul, and he doesn't but he gets the rebound off the miss. Malik driving, Malik over to Zoo. Zoo looking, Zoo floating, Zoo can't get it to fall. Colby steps in there for the rebound. Zoo with the three point look, not there. Almost loses the handle. Colby gets it down to Malik. Malik's gonna go to work down there. Kick it over to Colby in the corner. Corner three on the way by Colby Bryant, missing. Rebound off Soaring Eagle. Summit Academy ball. 3.36 remaining in the game, or the quarter. Nine to four and a whistle on the court. Looks like a substitution. We've got Nick Ceballos in for Zoo Marquez. So Nick Ceballos in. Summit with the ball. As some students have made their way in to the scoring either side of the stadium here. Juan Diego traps, get what they want, and it's thrown away, and it will be scoring eagle ball. So that's the defense of the Soaring Eagle on display, and they get what they want, which is a turnover and the ball. 
So Seth now going to run the offense for the Soaring Eagle. And let's see what can be done. Seb, Colby, Jack, Malik, and Malik in the game. And Colby's bumped, no call, he's bumped again. And they're gonna give him the foul. And that should put Colby to the line for two. So he's bumped there, and then he's fouled right there. So that'll be a team foul on Summit. And they're gonna call that on the floor. They're not gonna give him shots. So 3-12 in the game, and that'll be the third team foul. I got that on the board. Into the game for the Soaring Eagle, Va and Noah. Malik now with the ball. Malik looking, Malik driving. Dish is down to Va. Va up and in for two. So a nice play there by Va, and a nice assist by Malik. To get some inside game going with the big guys. And Juan Diego trapped. Juan Diego gets the turnover. Nick ahead to Malik. Malik driving and is fouled up at the three-quarter court line. So that's going to be the 14th foul on Summit with 2.52 left in the first quarter. It'll be side out over there for Juan Diego. So Summit came to play. Indeed they did. Seb with the ball now out at the logo. Seb looking, Seb gets it to Colby. Colby gets it down to Malik. Malik has a, a tremendous height advantage on that defender. Kicks it out to Noah at the three-point line. Noah to Seb. Malik needs to post up down there and take advantage of that situation. Vaughn's gonna set a pick for Nick. Nick's gonna skip it over to Colby. Colby down to Vaughn, nice pass. Vaughn with the left hand up and in. So Vaughn with two points for the Soaring Eagle. As we take another look at that one and on the live action front, Juan Diego pressing at half court. Summit Academy gets it across the midcourt line. So a nice move down there by Va as Summit, ooh, that looked like it bounced out of bounds, but it did not apparently. Summit's moving the ball, skipping it around. They're getting crafty with it. They've got a wide open corner three and it is off the front of the rim, but offensive rebound. And Malik with a huge block down there. And another huge block. Off and running over the Soaring Eagle. Seb with the ball. Seb skips it over to Noah. Noah takes his, fakes a three down to Malik. Malik can't quite grab it. And they're going to call. They're going to call a foul on. Whew, they're going to call a foul on Summit. Oh, I thought that was going to be on Malik. That would have been an enormous second foul on Malik. So, 138 remain. Summit already with five team fouls. Juan Diego's gonna inbound. Malik has it over in the far corner. Looking to drive, kicks it to Colby. Colby fakes a three. Mid-range jumper up by Colby off the back of the rim and rebounded by Summit. So Summit now looking. And that's the high post turnaround jumper that worked really well during the JV game. So that obviously carries over to varsity. That's a play that they run a lot apparently. And Juan Diego needs to pay attention to that. Colby driving and is fouled. And I think they're gonna call that one on the floor as well. Oh, they're gonna give him two now. <laughs> I, had it up. I had it backwards. Okay, so they're gonna call two shot foul with 55 seconds left. That'll be the 16th foul on Summit. So Colby at the line for two. First one is down. So 11 to nine is the score. On the floor we have Bob, Malik, Colby, Seb, and Noah. Colby for the second one, also good. So two for two from the free throw line is Colby Bryant. Summit will inbound. A close game here in the first quarter. Juan Diego picks it up at half court. Summit skips it across. They go right down the middle, and they're going to call a foul on Ba. And he was moving just enough, I think, to draw that foul. Take another look at it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But it did happen, and 43 seconds. 
That'll be the third team foul on the Soaring Eagles. So this will be a two-shot foul for Summit, and the first one misses. This is number 30 at the line for Summit Academy, Ethan Carlson, a junior. So Ethan for the second, and the second one is good. So Seb now with the ball for the Soaring Eagle. Under a minute left here in the first quarter. Malik now with the ball at the three-point perimeter. And Malik turns it over, and Summit's off and running, and that's an easy two for the Bears. So put one right in the breadbasket for them, and they took advantage. As Juan Diego takes a corner three and missing Va on the attempt, but Summit comes away with it. Summit with seven seconds left. I don't know if they're aware of the time, they need to get a shot off before the buzzer, and they do, but Malik blocks it, and they shoot it again and miss. So we'll take another look at that sequence to end the first quarter as Malik gets the block, and the second uh, attempt misses. So that's how the first quarter will end. 14 to 10, Summit Academy up by four. This is Summit Academy ball on possession. That will flip now to Juan Diego. So Summit with the ball leading by four after the first quarter. And knocked away. Looks like turned over. To the scoring eagle and the referee's gonna have a word with Coach Trost, I guess. So, Juan Diego now with the ball into the game. We have Zoo, Noah, Malik, Malik, and Jack. And let's see what the Soaring Eagle can do here. They need to take care of the ball first and foremost. Malik with the ball. Malik going to work now, backing down into the low post. Looking, kicks it back out to Zoo. Zoo now has it poked away but maintains possession. And the fans from Summit are ferocious over there on the sidelines, really giving an earful to the Soaring Eagle and trying to distract him as Malik takes it down, up and in. So a nice answer there by Malik to put two back on the board for Soaring Eagle. As one Eagle picks it back up at half court, Summit gets it across and skips it around, not allowing the Soaring Eagle to trap. Into the high post it goes, nothing down low. High post shot up and missing. Rebound, Malik. Malik with the ball, crossing midcourt now. Malik driving, Malik running. Oh, and they're gonna call an offensive foul, and that is wrong. That is so wrong. He was moving all the way. Let's look at this again. Oh my goodness. No way, no way. Oh boy. Well, that's two on Malik, just what Summit Academy wanted, and the referee gave it to him on a platter. As Summit turns it over, and Juan Diego turns it right back over, but falling down and hurt, grabbing his ankle, is the player from Summit. 
That is number, I can't see the number down there. It's like number, uh, is that 42? That is 42, that's Tyson Christensen, so he walks it off. And I don't know who called timeout there, if that was an official timeout or a team timeout. I'll have to check that at halftime. But a quick reset, 14-12 for Summit, 16 fouls versus four. And I'll have to check on that timeout. I'm not sure who called it. And this will certainly result in a nasty gram from YouTube with the licensed music, copyrighted music being played over the intercom. So that's unfortunate, but it happens. Okay, so there is Summit now with the ball, leading by two. Into the game, Malik, Jack, Malik, Zhu, and Noah. So two fouls on Malik does not deter the Soaring Eagle. Malik just needs to be careful here and not pick up a silly one. And how's that not offensive? He pushes off, but it's not called. And Malik just says, get that out of my house. 5.49 on the clock. So this will be baseline. No, this will be side out on the, in the corner for Summit. As they move it around. Malik, such a presence down there on the defensive end. And nearly gets the steal. Summit takes a corner three, misses, rebounds. That's over the back, and they don't call it. Malik comes up and comes up big on the block down there. So the Soaring Eagle get the ball back on the block. And Malik now with the ball, going to work, looking, driving, and hammers it home! Home, baby! Yes, sir! We're going to watch that one again. Malik just takes it into his own hands and hammers it home. As back to live action, Summit now with the ball. The score is tied, Summit gets it down underneath and traveling is gonna be the call, yes sir! Traveling on the Bears. So Juan Diego with 5.01, now with the ball in possession and the game is tied. So Juan Diego coming back with a nice answer here in the second quarter. As Zoo drives, Zoo's got the middle, Zoo floats it up and just can't get it to fall. Summit with the, with the rebound. So Juan Diego back in their defense. Looks like they've gone to a man matchup. Summit now with the screen. A nice switch there by the Malik to pick up the, 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 the bear. And Summit resets. They get it down the lane. They take a shot. It's blocked by Malik Harris. Malik with the ball. Malik now driving. Malik trying to do some fancy dribbling. Looks for the shot. Nothing there. He's got to get rid of it. Down to Jack on the baseline. Jack up and in for two. So we're putting that on the replay as well at halftime. A nice look and a nice off the ball move by Jack Raup to get it to Juan Diego. Soaring Eagle up two now. And he didn't pick up his pivot, so that's not traveling. A three-pointer on the way. Looks like it might have been partially blocked. Rebound, Malik Harris over to Zoo. So varsity is exciting. Oh, my goodness. Way more intense than the JV games for sure, at least in the beginning of the game. As Malik has it. Malik! Up and in, lays it home. So Juan Diego will go up two. Excuse me, they're up four by adding another two. And live action, Juan Diego picking Summit up at half court. Summit not quite across the midcourt line, but they get it across. Juan Diego tries to trap, and they're gonna get called for a foul over there on the far side. So that will be the fifth team foul on the Soaring Eagle with 3.13 left in the game. Summit will have the ball. No, that is not one and one. That is not one and one. He's calling one and one over there. Yeah, it's side out. 
I don't know what he was signaling. He sure looked like one and one. That is wrong. So Summit side out on the Juan Diego side of the court, right in front of the bench. To get it into the backcourt, which is perfectly legal. Into the game for the Soaring Eagle is Seb and Zoo and Zoo on the break. Zoo up and oh, it almost falls for him. We'll take another look at it. So just calling out who was in the game, and Zoo took the ball and stole it, and he's going to go to the charity start for two. And that will be the seventh team foul on Summit, and that will put Juan Diego in the bonus now. So Zoo to the line for two with three minutes exactly left in the second quarter. Zoo's first one is up and nothing but net. So on the court, we have Seb, Zoo, Colby, Malik, and Malik. The second one by Zoo is also good. So the Juan Diego Soaring Eagle go up six and get into their defense. They pick up the Summit Academy Bears at midcourt. They have not yet got it across midcourt, and they still haven't got it across. And now they do, and they get it over to the far corner. A nice fake. A shot is up and missing. Summit. Looks like they put it out of bounds, and they did. So that'll be Soaring Eagle ball now with 2.37 left in the second quarter. That was close to a 10-second uh, backcourt violation by the Bears. We'll have to look at that one again on the countdown clock. And Zoo with the ball. Zoo gives it to Malik. Malik looking. Malik down to Malik, and Malik puts it up and in. So a nice dish again from Malik to Malik. To put another two on the board for the Soaring Eagle. As Summit gets it around, they get it down to the low post and a hook shot misses. Batted around, rebound. Juan Diego. Malik with the ball. Malik dribbling. Malik through the legs. Malik looking. Just hands it off to Zoo now. So Zoo gets it down to Malik in the low post. Malik with a nice dish down to Seb. And they're going to call. What are they going to call down here? Did that go in? They are going to call a shooting foul, and it did not go in, so this will be two shots. It was hard to see. The clock got away from there, 151. Left, that'll put eight on the board for Summit on the team fouls as Seb knocks it down. Nick Ceballos at the line for two, hitting the first. Put Juan Diego up 23 to 14. Substitution, Va into the game for the Soaring Eagle as Malik Diallo takes a seat and gets a nice hand from the crowd over there on the Juan Diego side. Nice, nice play by Malik. As Seb takes his second free throw attempt and converts. So Juan Diego up 10. Summit Academy now with the ball. And Juan Diego backs off of the pressure at midcourt. Instead, Seb gets into their half court defense. And we'll see what Summit can come up with. So far, the Soaring Eagle closing out nicely on that perimeter and not allowing anything inside either. So making it tough for the Bears to get an easy one, or a good look for that matter. And there they get it into the high post. Over to the corner, a nice fake. A close out by Juan Diego. Ball misses, rebound, Summit, an easy one at the free throw line, misses. Summit with another offensive rebound and they get it down. So Summit with three attempts, two attempts I guess on the putback, finally get that one to go. So they add two to their side of the score. And Juan Diego will reset. We're under a minute in the second quarter. Zoo with the ball. Juan Diego in the bonus. Zoo driving, Zoo floating. Zoo can't get it to fall as he falls to the floor. Summit now racing down, but Juan Diego's there to close it out. And we will reset as the clock winds, coming up on 30 seconds left in the first. So Summit serving the canvas. They've got the high post if they want it. That's been there. That's, that was a winner in the JV game. A turnaround jump shot from that free throw line was there all game, and they made a lot of them. Not enough to win that game. But here it is, corner three on the way, and good 
for the Bears. So Juan Diego with a chance to get the last shot off. They have to hurry. They're down to three seconds. Sue needs to shoot it. Don't turn it over. You got to put it up. And it is no good. Oh, mama. And that is how the second quarter will end. So Juan Diego up five on that sequence after giving up a three at the end there to Summit from the corner. And just like that, in the flash of an uh, of a, in the blink of an eye, I should say, we are at halftime. So I'll put a countdown up. We'll put the highlights up, the replays up, and check back in in about 10 minutes. Thanks for joining, everybody. down to Malik. Malik up and try to force it in and it's blocked so far. I believe they're three for four from the first one line thus far. They get it over to the far corner. Now they get it down low and it's blocked by Zoom. And let's see what she does. Steph, Colby, Jack, Malik, and Malik in the game. And Colby's bumped. No call. He bumped again. Malik now with the ball. Malik looking. Malik driving. This is down to Va. Va up and in for two. So a nice play by game going with the big guys. And one Diego trap. One Diego gets the turnover. Nick ahead to Malik. Malik driving and is fouled up. Advantage of that situation. Va's going to set a pick for Nick. Nick's going to skip it over to Colby. Colby down to Va. Nice pass. Va with the left hand up and in. Crafty with it. They've got a wide open corner three, and it is off the front of the rim, but offensive rebound. And Malik with a huge block in the first quarter. Now they to pick it up at half court. Summit gets it across. They go right down the middle, and they're going to call a foul on Malik now with the ball at the three point perimeter. And Malik turns it over, and Summit's off and running, and that's an easy two for the Bears. Summit with seven seconds left. I don't know if they're aware of the time. They need to get a shot off before the buzzer, and they do, but Malik blocks it, and they shoot it again, and this ferocious over there on the sideline, really giving an earful to the Soaring Eagle and trying to distract him. As Malik takes it down, up and in. Shot up and missing, rebound, Malik. Malik with the ball, crossing midcourt now. Malik driving, Malik running. Oh, and they're gonna call it up. Is that not offensive? Pushes off, but it's not called. And Malik just says, get that out of my house. He misses, rebounds. That's over the back, and they don't call it. Malik comes up and comes up big on the block down there. So the Soaring Eagle gets the ball back on the block. And Malik now with the ball, going to work. Looking, driving, and hammers it home! Get it down the lane. They take a shot. It's blocked by Matt. Malik trying to do some fancy dribbling. Looks for the shot. Nothing there. He's got to get rid of it. Down to Jack on the baseline. Jack up and in for two. So we're putting out on the rebound. Way more intense than the JV game for sure, at least in the beginning of the game. As Malik has it. Malik up and in. Game for Soren Eagles and Steph and Zoo and Zoo on the break. Zoo. Up and oh, it almost falls. Malik looking, Malik down to Malik, and Malik puts it up and in. Hands it off to Zoo now. Zoo gets it down. Malik with a low post. Malik with a nice dish down to Seb. 
and they're gonna call. There's Juan Diego with a chance to get the last shot off. They have to hurry, they're down to three seconds. Sue needs to shoot it. Don't turn it over, you gotta put it up. And it is no good.
Okay, so Juan Diego will have possession here at the beginning of the third. So the clock will start. Put that over to the Summit Academy on the possession. Zoo with the ball. In the game for the Soaring Eagle, we have Zoo, Jack, Malik, Malik, and Colby. As Summit gets it down low. Oh, and they can't quite convert. Malik with the ball now. Driving for the Soaring Eagle. Kicks over to Zoo. Zoo floats it over to Malik. Malik's going to try to go up and in with it. Can't quite do it. Turns it over on the out to Jack. Now Summit's ahead streaking, and they get it to fall. So the first two of the third quarter go to Summit Academy. So the Soaring Eagle will reset. Jack with the ball up top to Malik. Malik looks. Colby has it. Colby down to Malik. Malik's going to go to work and get fouled down there. So Malik Harris will go to the line for two. I believe it will be two. I think they called that in the shot. No, they did not. They called that on the floor. So this will be baseline inbound by the Swarm Eagle. As it comes into Malik in the corner. Malik looking. Malik trying to work the baseline. Nothing there. Kicks it out a little too firmly and in the backcourt and out of bounds is the ball. So a turnover by the Soaring Eagle. Will result in Summit Academy getting it at the baseline under their own basket. So Juan Diego just not sharp out of the break. And they get an easy one off and miss. Jack gets it ahead to Zoo. Zoo's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Zoo with a floater. And they're going to call a foul on Summit. I think this will be a two-shot foul. So Zoo was held up there. It looks like they're lining up for the free throws. 6.47 on the clock. That'll be the second team foul on Summit. Zoo will go to the line for two. Misses the first one. Coming. Second one is up and good. So on the make, Juan Diego elects not to press, but they will pick him up at half court. As someone gets it across, Juan Diego tries to trap, almost gets a steal there, but it's Oh, looks like he shuffled his feet, and that'll be an and one for Summit. So Summit coming back on the mismatch after the attempted trap, and we'll have a chance for an and one here. That is number 35 for Summit, Caleb Knight, a senior. So Caleb with the attempt here. And it is good. So a one point game just like that. And here we go. Malik throws it to nobody. Out of bounds, Summit Ball. Soaring Eagle with way too many turnovers here in the third quarter. Summit just finding the open spot and getting it to where it needs to go. And there's an open three, and it is down. So Summit on top now by two. And that is a timeout, Juan Diego. So Summit showing some excitement over there, and, and they should. They're up and they're playing well. And Juan Diego is not. So 27-25. 6.04 on the clock. That'll be the first timeout charged to Juan Diego. I did not check that timeout that was taken earlier. Uh, so it, the board could be wrong on the overlay. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, we'll try to keep track of it from here on out.
called traveling on Zoo. What? Look at this again. One, two, I guess he did travel. Oh! Juan Diego needs to find their mojo here. They have lost it. That is not what you want out of a timeout. So Summit with the ball. Had an open three, didn't take it. Comes inside instead, kicks out to the perimeter. Driving inside, back to the perimeter on the far side. A three-pointer on the way, misses, rebound. Malik Harris over to Zoo. Zoo now in the far corner. And they are going to call a foul down there on Summit. So that'll be the third team foul on Summit Academy. Into the game is number 21 for Summit, Bryson Otley. Replacing number 12, I believe. As Juan Diego gets it inbound up near midcourt. Colby Bryant with the ball. Just on the wingtip of the logo. Jack down to Malik. Malik double teamed. Somebody's got to be open down there. He kicks it out to the far side. Zoo driving down the middle. Zoo dishes up and in and in one. And that's what we need to be doing, boys. 5.04 on the clock. And that'll put Zoo to the line 4-1. Which ties the score at 27. So four team fouls already on Summit with only three minutes gone by and Zoo hits it home. So Juan Diego retakes the lead by one point and they will pick up Summit at midcourt. Let's see if they can get them into a spot they want with the trap. They try it and they're going to call a foul on Juan Diego instead. So that'll be the second team foul on the Soaring Eagle. In the game for the Soaring Eagle, we have Colby Jack, Zoo, Malik, and Malik. Those are the starters. Let's see if they can produce some stops and some points here. Summit gets it. Oh, and it looks like they're going to call traveling on Summit. So turnover to Juan Diego. And Zoo brings the ball up now. And that at the midcourt stripe is Zoo. He still has the ball. Kicks it over to Colby now. Colby looks. Nothing there. Back to Zoo. So Zoo serving the landscape, gets it to Colby. Colby looks low, nothing there. Cross court to Jack. Jack's going to put up a three and bake it home. Oh, Jack. It wasn't pretty, but it got done. And that's what you want. So we'll take that three. I don't think he called it. He may have called bank, I'm not sure. And Malik commits a foul over on the other side, unfortunately. So. That'll be the third team foul on the Soaring Eagle as Jack Banks one home from three-point land. Hey, anyway, we can knock him down. So that high post is there if they want it. And they back out all together. Now they come back to the high post. And they get it to him in the high post, but it's shut down. Three-pointer back out on the way and down for Summit Academy. And this will be, I don't know what the whistle is here. The whistle is, not sure what the whistle was about. Perhaps a delay of game, I don't know. But Juan Diego with the ball. And looking to attack 
is Malik. Malik with a short jumper missing, but Malik Harris hustles, gets it over to Colby, back to Zoo. Zoo does not take the three. Dishes down to Colby and a reverse misses. A, oh, a put back and he's fouled and they don't call it. So Summit with the ball. Summit now, they have an advantage as Juan Diego's not quite back on D. And Summit drives and it is turned over. Malik Diallo, Zoo down low, turns around and lifts one up and in. So quite a sequence there to put Juan Diego up three as the Soaring Eagles go into their defense. And it is turned over. Yes, Colby saves. Oh, and he's down. Colby with a huge land into the stands. But they get it back to Summit. And Summit knocks down a three to tie the game. Let's hope Colby Bryant is okay. Oh, man, he took a hard fall into the bleachers right below the scoreboard of the screen you're on. Oh, my goodness. He does sacrifice his body. So I hope he's okay. He's still, still out there. Malik's going to put up a three. Miss. And there's Colby going in for the rebound. And it is going to be called a jump ball. And that will be possession Summit Academy. So 147 left in the third. Tied high score. Summit Academy ball on the possession arrow. So this will flip to Juan Diego upon the inbound. And the students are gathered down there. I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. There's the referee with the ball. And it is now Summit Ball. Juan Diego will take the possession arrow. So quite a contest happening here in the Eagles' nest. See if Juan Diego can apply some pressure and get some more stops as it gets down low. And Mal Malik just takes it away from him. And now Malik driving, dish, no, not dishing, up, and they're gonna call a foul. So Malik will go to the line for two on the coast to coast triple drive with a minute 24 remaining in the third quarter. So Summit Academy commits their fifth team foul. Malik Diallo for the first and a nice clean stroke, puts it in. So Malik with the second of two. Oh, and it doesn't go. Rebound back to Malik at the three-point line. So just in the right place at the right time there as Malik gets his own rebound and now Zoo has it. Zoo to Colby. Colby's gonna drive. Colby's gonna lift one up and they're gonna call a foul on that. So Colby just trying to brute force one in and draws the foul. And that is a foul. 100% on that one. 109 with the sixth foul committed by Summit. So Colby to the line for two, and he knocks down the first one. And that is Colby, C-O-L-B-Y, not Kobe, C-O-B-Y. But Bryant is spelled the same. So Colby for the second. Misses, rebounds, Summit Academy. And it's stolen by Zoo. Zoo throws it off the Summit Academy defender. And it is Juan Diego ball. So a nice heads up play down there by Zoo for Juan Diego to maintain possession on the baseline. So Noah into the game now. Noah to Malik. Noah driving. Short jumper, short. And rebound Summit Academy. So under a minute, just like that in the third quarter. Juan Diego up two. And Summit Academy driving, and Colby's riding his hip, and is going to be called for the foul. That'll be on the floor. So a non-shooting foul. Fourth, the fourth team foul on the Soaring Eagle. 
And the ball will be Summit Academy on the baseline with 42 seconds left in the third. The last time they did a play down there, I believe it was, oh, maybe I'm mixing up the JV game. I think they got an easy corner three. So let's see what they do here. They get it over to the corner, now down low. Nothing doing there, but they get a wide open mid-range jumper and knock it down. So probably not the play they drew up, but the result is what they wanted and two more points to tie it with less than 30 seconds left here in the third. As Noah cuts baseline, nothing there. Back to Malik. Malik's going to go down the middle and be shut down on the double team. Back to Noah. Noah's going to take a long three and off the front of the rim, no good. Jack's reaching, and they're going to call a foul on Jack. Four over the back. So that will leave 11 seconds on the clock. Neither team in the penalty just yet. So with 11 seconds left, Zoo's going to put some full court pressure on. And Summit's going to try to get off a shot. And Malik nearly steals it. And that's how the third quarter will end. So a good defensive stand there by the Soaring Eagle at the end of the third quarter. We'll replay that. I think Zoo might have got a piece of that on the way down. And shut it off. So 35 apiece going into the fourth. So Juan Diego will have the ball to begin the four on the possession. And that'll go back to Summit. So do with the ball, knot it up at 35. Buckle up, everybody. This one's going to come down to the wire, I do believe. As Malik takes a three-pointer and circles it home with the flush from the perimeter this time. And Soaring Eagle will go up three. So had the right English on that one for sure to make sure it got home through the net. Summit now looking to answer. And they had him in the post, but they didn't throw it down to him. So they'll reset, there's a switch, and they're gonna call a foul on the Swing Eagle down there. It looks like it's gonna be on the floor. I believe it's a call. 7 16 o'clock are calling that on the floor, but that does put Juan Diego at the sixth team foul. So both teams for six, an open corner shot is no good. Juan Diego doesn't box out, and Malik nearly blocks it, but they get it back again, does Summit Academy. And Juan Diego giving up a couple of rebounds there. No points surrendered thus far. And there's the low post, and a skip pass. Malik's just too much of a presence there for them to really try to attempt anything down low. And they will reset. So Summit Academy from Bluffdale playing the Soaring Eagle tough. And there's a nice pass down low, and that's going to be a foul called on Zoo. And this will be one and one. So that will be the 17th foul on Juan Diego and put Summit Academy in the bonus. 
as the substitution is made. Colby is out. Malik Harris is in. So on the floor for the Soaring Eagle, we have Noah Bendinger, Zoo Marquez, Malik Diallo, Malik Harris, and Jack Rout. As the first one of one is up and good by Summit. So the bonus paying off so far. And one more to come. And down it goes. That is Ethan Carlson with two free throws for the Bears as Juan Diego crosses midcourt. And the Soaring Eagle about collide underneath as Noah as Colm for the foul is Summit Academy. Noah's going to get three free throws here, so we'll take another look at that one. As, yes, he is bumped, and down he goes. So that will put seven on the board for Summit Academy. Put Juan Diego in the bonus, but it doesn't matter on this particular play because Noah will have three free throws upcoming with 6.21 left in the fourth quarter. And Noah knocks down the first one. Second one is also good as he strips the net. And free throw number three upcoming. And it is good. So a three-point play the unorthodox way, which is different from the old-fashioned way. But nevertheless, it's three and we'll take it. As Summit comes back, Summit drives to get it down low. There's nothing there. Juan Diego gets the steal. Noah's trying to dive for it and it's out of bounds down there. So almost a steal, I should say, by the Soaring Eagle. So a close game, both teams in the single bonus. Six minutes left in the game. And the Eagle Nest is a rocking tonight. Bears are in town, hovering around the Soaring Eagle. Oh, come on. Oh, let's see if this was a foul. It will, I guess. I mean, that's pretty ticky tack. It's a physical sport. You're going to bump people from time to time. But what do I know? That'll be the eighth team foul, and this will be one and one for the Soaring Eagle with 553. Sorry, one and one for Summit Academy with 553, and that's off. Oh, but he banks it home somehow. Oh, that looked like a nervous shot, or it got away from <laughs> Malik gives him a high five. Looked like it kind of slipped out of his hand. It just had a really tall arc to it. Number two is a much better looking shot, but it misses. And Summit is down three as Juan Diego gets the ball. And let's see if Zoo can create something. Gets over to Jack. Jack's going to take the baseline. Pull up short. Malik. Hands off. If he would have grabbed it, it would have been a clean play, but they probably would have called a foul on him, so he lets it go. And Jack with another steal ahead to Zoo. Zoo's going to take it up and lay it. Oh, and it's blocked by Summit Academy. What a play by the Bears to knock that one out of the cylinder. Wow. I expected that to go down. I had the two points on the board already for the Soaring Eagle. That was an amazing play. And it was not in the cylinder. That was me misspeaking. He just snatched it out of the air. And I thought Zoo had that one all the way. So a fantastic block there by the Summit Academy defender. And Juan Diego, now they get it down to the low block. Jack knocks it away again. Jack's getting a, some nice defensive plays in here. So. Jack on the aggressive side of things. Zoo has an open three. He's not going to take it. He's going to take it down the middle instead and float one up and in. So Zoo for two, extending the lead to five as we come up on four and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. And a little bump, and they're going to call that a foul. Whoa, the coach is hot over there. The coach is way hot. He needs to be restrained. 
He is, he is going to, and that is a technical foul being called on the coach from Summit Academy. Yes, you cannot act that way. No, sir. You have every right to be upset. You can't express it or they're going to call that technical. So I'm not sure who called the timeout. Let's see if they're going to signal. And they signal. I think I missed it again. So I'm not sure who has the time out here. I'm going to take a breather and see if I can figure it out. Be right back. they called a technical foul. I guess they didn't. Maybe it was a sideline warning or something. So no technical. Summit with the ball. That was called by Summit Academy, by the way, the timeout. So Summit with the ball. I'll tell you, the coach was borderline getting a technical, though, if he didn't get one called on him. He was fired up about something over there. As the, oh, and that's going to be a blocking call as he lowers his shoulder and gets the call by the referee. So that'll be 19 fouls on Juan Diego and send the Summit Academy player, number 41, Chance Arbin, a senior, to the line for the Bears. First one is up and misses. As Summit makes two substitutions. Number 30 and number 21 leave the game. So Chance with the second attempt. And it is good. So Juan Diego up four with four minutes remaining. In the game for the Soaring Eagle is Zoo, Noah, Jack, Malik, and Malik. Do with the ball over to Noah. And Malik now with the ball. Malik looking in the corner. He's getting trapped. He kicks it over to Noah. Noah's got to have somebody open, but he takes it himself. Misses off the front of the rim. Rebound Summit Academy. So Summit now with the ball, crossing midcourt. Three and a half minutes remain in the game. Summit down four. They skip it around, they get it down to the low post, and Noah's gonna call, cause a foul down there. And that will be two shots no matter what, because Juan Diego has now crossed the threshold of the double penalty. And at the line now is Devin Watson, a junior for the Bears. Misses the first one. 318 left in the game. So Devin with the second attempt, and it is good. So a three-point contest with three minutes and 16 seconds left in the game. And it is loud and rowdy in here. As Jack takes the ball over to Malik. Malik looks to Malik, not there. Noah's going to take a three. Yes, it home! So Noah Bendinger with three for the Soaring Eagle to put him up six. Under three minutes now in the third, in the fourth quarter as Zhu applies pressure at midcourt. And here comes the screen. They don't set it. So Summit looking for an answer here as a nice backdoor cut is made and up and in by Summit Academy. 
So a nice play there on the aggressive defense by the Soaring Eagle to get two on the board. That was a nice looking, nice looking play, a good pass, and a nice finish. So Summit down four now, Juan Diego with the ball. And Zoo's gonna drive baseline, he's double teamed, he's gonna double pump one up and in and miss. Summit now with the ball. So momentum has gone back and forth the entire way. And it's hard to say who's got the momentum. Maybe a slight edge to Summit after that make and then a stop right now and then the ball. And they get it over to the corner and he's backing up for a three and takes it and knocks it home. And Juan Diego is going to call. What's gonna happen here? What happened? There is a timeout on the floor. I'm not sure what's going on. The referee's having a conversation over there. That was a quick whistle. And it is going to be a timeout taken by Summit Academy. This will be a full timeout. So we'll get back to you when the action resumes. This is Juan Diego Ball. Even though Summit took the timeout, they took it after the make, so Juan Diego has possession. Up one with one minute and 43 seconds left in the game. Zoo with the ball. So on the court, Zoo, Noah, Malik, Malik, and Jack. Pretty much been that way the whole half. As Jack gets the ball and turns it over. Summit with the ball now, Summit looking, Summit pulls up and they're gonna get, no they're not, I thought they were gonna take another corner three over there. Instead they take a, a three from the wing and they knock it down. So a costly turnover for the Soaring Eagle. Going down two now with a minute 15 left in the game. Juan Diego needs to take care of the ball and put some points back up on the board, down two. So now Malik Diallo driving, Malik down to Jack, Malik turns it over. Oh my goodness, Soaring Eagle turnovers. And there we go, and Malik with a huge block down there. And they're gonna call a foul on Malik Diallo after an unbelievable block. Oh my goodness, oh give me a break. He didn't even touch him. His momentum carried him out of bounds and made him fall. Oh, that is so bad, that is so bad. My goodness, the clock got away from me, 55 seconds. As the first one is up and misses. And that is clear as day. I don't care what side you're on, that was not a foul. So Summit for the second. And they hit it. So up three are the Bears. That's Juan Diego now with the ball, and they're going to take timeout. So timeout, Soaring Eagle. As Summit Academy begins to celebrate over there. 52 seconds left on the clock. We'll pull one off the board for the Soaring Eagle. Down three, so we'll see what they come out of the timeout with.
Okay, so Juan Diego with the ball. And 50 seconds to work with. Let's see what kind of a shot they can get off. Let's not turn it over. Jack's going to take it. Jack's going to drive. Come up short. Malik with the ball. Malik puts it up and in. So the Soaring Eagle down one now. And full court press is the order from Coach Strauss. And they throw it out of bounds. And that is going to be the referees are conferring. That is Juan Diego ball. Nobody touched it. He threw it out of bounds from the baseline. It is Juan Diego ball. Yes, sir. That is right. They got one right down there. So Juan Diego will take the ball over in the corner on the baseline. So the Soaring Eagle down one now with 35 seconds left. And a timeout is taken by, this is probably a Juan Diego timeout. Let's see what the signal is. I didn't see See, there's the signal. Yes, Juan Diego timeout. This will be a full timeout. So, whoa, buckle up, baby. We are in the thick of it here in the Eagles Nest. So we'll get back to it when play resumes. Okay, so hold on to your hats. 35 seconds left. Juan Diego inbounding over in the far corner on the turnover by Summit. And, ooh, thought that was a turnover. So, Zoo with the ball now as the clock ticks. Juan Diego looking for the shot. Nothing there yet. Zoo driving. Shut down, over to Jack. Jack spins away, lays it up and in. Is, and there's a scrum and Summit Academy comes away with it. Juan Diego has to foul. And there is a foul, a hard foul on the other end as Summit Academy is gonna go to the line with nine seconds left and try to go up three on the Soaring Eagle. And that is Ty Tyson Christensen, number 42, the leading scorer for Summit Academy in the statistics category season wide. So two shots for Summit as the Eagle Nest makes some noise and Tyson cool as the other side of the pillow. Makes it, knocks it home. And that is not, for me, that is a Stuart Scott line. And he knocks another one down. And that is a timeout now taken by Summit. And they are pretty excited about themselves over there, and rightfully they should. They played a tough game, and they're up three with only nine seconds left. So we'll pull one off the board for Summit. Juan Diego with just way too many turnovers in this game. And when you turn it over that much, you give the opponent a chance to score, and obviously you don't give yourself a chance to score. So when the objective is to score, it makes it kind of hard. Okay, here we go. Summit Academy in the double bonus, Juan Diego in the single bonus. Nine seconds left. Juan Diego with the ball. They have to go the length of the court. So let's see what happens. Now Summit, if they want to play the strategy game, they can foul and get the ball back potentially without giving up a three, but they don't. And Juan Diego has it, kicks it over to Zoo. Zoo's gonna, oh, and that's it! Summit is going to win the game because Juan Diego can't get a shot off to attempt to tie. And the fans from Summit Academy celebrate, and rightfully they should. I think they were underdogs on paper coming into this one. And they come in and upset 
the Soaring Eagle from Juan Diego on their home court. So a tough home loss for the Soaring Eagle and a tough region loss as well. And congratulations to Summit Academy on the victory. So we'll go final on the scoreboard here as the teams exchange pleasantries at midcourt. These two teams will see each other again at Summit Academy. And let's pull that up. That will be on Wednesday, February 9th. So that will be the rematch at Summit Academy for the Soaring Eagles. So the Soaring Eagles are going to drop to 8-6 and six on the season and 1-1 one and one in region play after the loss here. So a tough one. They were in it till the end, but just, I think, committed too many turnovers, and that was the, the falling out for the Soaring Eagles on this one. So we will be back at it on Monday night. We have Judge in the house. Bring that schedule back up. Judge will visit the Soaring Eagle on Monday. That is a JV and varsity stream. JV will start at 515. Varsity will start at 645. That is, uh, the streams will start then. The games will start about 15 minutes after the streams start. So looking forward to that one. Judge is a, they're not having a great season. I think they've only won two games all year, but uh, they're, <laughs> they're gonna play every, every game tough and they're gonna play Juan Diego especially tough being uh, the other predominant Catholic school here in the Valley. So that will be quite a contest on Monday. So again, congratulations to Summit, a well-earned victory, and we will see you again on Wednesday, February 9th at your place. So until then, and until Monday, where we host Judge, I will see you all at that time. Happy Friday, hope everyone has a good weekend, and Safe travels.